Well, hello YouTube. My name is Leon. I'm Tim Kulu. Welcome to my channel. Like and subscribe. I do reviews. You know, I'm gonna start doing reactions. I'm gonna start doing whatever I can, whatever intrigues me. Let me put it that way. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I'm gonna start big because I used to film with my phone, but now I'm filming with my camera. You know, I had to go big for this one. The movie we talk about today is Black Panther. Went to watch it Friday at like 11 p.m. because we went to so many malls, it was sold out. Pre order, kids, pre order, you know. Like, what can I say? It was worth going to so many malls because we went to like four different malls until we found one where it wasn't sold out at a certain time. And oh, that movie. It's just so fantastic. You know, I'm going to go straight out of the bat and say that. Like, I really enjoyed this movie. There was some nitpicky stuff, which I wrote on my phone. So don't mind me looking down. Because I got to check the notes. Because you can't just, like, free ball this thing. You know what I'm saying? You have to be precise. I'm going to start with the positives. Black Panther notes, you know what I'm saying? Biggest positive for me was Killmonger. Eric Killmonger, played by Michael B. Jordan. Oh, it was such a delight to see a villain like that. Like, with a relatable motive, who just, like, was on par with his character. Like, he was unap unapologetic about everything he was doing. Like, he was just so amazing. I mean, like, I love how, you know, like, let me just be honest. Spoiler. This is a spoiler. I'm just. I'm even going to write on the title. So, if you haven't seen the movie, you probably should not be watching this. Like, straight up, I like the sequence where he took the Black Panther, like, plant thing that gives the Black Panther a special ability from the vibranium. If you've watched the movie, you know what I'm talking about. How his dream sequence was in his father and him's apartment and he just immediately turned into a kid because that's when his life was shattered and I, I, that was just so powerful for me like how he reverted from a kid to himself like seeing that he was still that broken down boy would made some of his motives understandable that he didn't grow up no more he, he was just straight up struggling from then on he probably even previously but like he he was left behind that was so savage though like that was just one of the plot twists that I was like yo this movie won on that tip Killmonger fantastic he stood out for me personally but also also Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa you know the Black Panther himself the legend the myth you know what I'm saying he was amazing like he it was more like how can I put this it's a Nick Piggy thing. It wasn't really a Black Panther solo movie. It was a, like a Wakanda history solo movie led by T'Challa since he was the current king. Like I feel like if anybody else was the current king, like we could have followed that story and had the same some kind of outcome. If you understand what I'm saying, like, the story wouldn't be that different if somebody else was king. You know, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not saying the other person would have been morally upright like Chadwick was or T'Challa. Let me put it that way. But I feel like it was a Wakandan story. Like if you were following Killmonger the whole way and say his plan went to fruition, like the story could have carried that, is what I'm saying. And I would have been okay with it, if you understand what I'm saying. Like his part wasn't like, oh. Like, let me put it this way, Captain America went a soldier, for instance. Like, that was a cap-driven story. Like, that's my favorite comic book movie. Not just MCU, comic book movie in general. That movie, I gave it 11 out of 10 because it met my expectation, but it's a past them. You know what I'm saying? But Chadwick, everybody's performances were amazing. Then we got Denia, you know, from, from Walking Dead. I don't really know her name, like maybe I have to go watch the movie again to get her name right or do my research, but I'm still hype of the movie, I'm still digesting everything to 
really care about the names, honestly, I'm sorry, but she was the most badass female. Like, she had the best fight sequences in the whole movie, and um, hands down, like, no lie. Like, her character was so loyal to her country, like, it was a phenomenal performance by everybody, actually. Everybody had grounded characters, like, everybody just fit. Then we gotta go to my boy Andy Serkis playing a South African. I'm a South African, in case y'all don't know. Probably put it in the title too, so y'all know what Africans feel about this movie. It was amazing. He was, he sounded even South African. Like a lot of people outside the South African cast they had, which was a delight to see on top of that. Oh, such a delight seeing people kind of grew up on TV watching in such a big platform it was amazing. As an expiring filmmaker, it's like. Oh, like these people made it, you know what I'm saying? And the circus was amazing. One of those deaths I thought were unnecessary, but unnecessary for me, but for the plot, I get it. Like, he had to get uh, Daniel Kaluuya's, like, him on his side. Like, he knew so much information about Wakanda, like, he was so inside like in the loop you know what i'm saying yeah his father really filled him in on that notebook he left him probably filled him up then we're gonna go to his sister played by latia right if i'm not mistaken she was amazing she was like the ultimate comic relief perfect fit for her character the brother and sister thing was amazing like i'm just gonna go through this as quick as i can then we gotta go to Nikira, played by Lupita. I really liked their relationship. That it was, there was more to it. Like, we want to know what broke them up. Probably her ambition. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the history of their relationship was more enticing than them getting back together for me, honestly. Like, the way they were talking about it, that don't freeze thing. Everything about it was, like, more gripping for me than the actual relationship at the end when they were kissing. I wasn't like, yeah, stay back together. When it's, I was like, I just want to know what they went through, you know what I'm saying? Then Umbaku, ah, man ape himself. That was a performance. I didn't understand his accent. I thought, what, he's African? What, which region? I was trying to, like, define which region his accent was from because he sounded Nigerian. Sometimes it sounded South African. Sometimes it sounded a mixture of both. But I really enjoyed it. Like, his performance was, he has the best one-liner. Savage and funny. Like, best one-liners were from Andy Serkis and Mbaku. Like, yo, those characters was just phenomenal. I like the practical effects of the movie. Wakanda looked amazing. Yo, like that city was established. It was a character in its own. Like I won't lie to you. The practical effects in movies light me up. Like, like the fact that they built this and made it look natural. Sure they use green screen, all these elements, every effects to make it look more better, but if it's practical I just I just lose it. <sighs> South African actors, like I said, that was such a plus to see that. I really enjoyed that. The directing was amazing. Ryan Coogler watched all his movies to this point, like Creed, F Fruitvale Station, all that. It was just amazing. Like there were subtleties, like the one takes, the camera movement. Like even in a basketball court, both shots, like past and present. If you don't see what I'm saying, even the wood scene when they were helping Lupita's character. And telling her that the, uh, the king of Wakanda died and he has to take the throne and everything. That was just some subtleties that you, oh, that was just crazy. Another thing about Killmonger, he, has, he legit has the best introduction of a character I've ever seen. Not ever seen, let me say, ever seen since Winter Soldier when he blew up um, Nick Fury's car in Winter Soldier. Like, yo. Like, I really like it, so I keep bringing it up, I'm sorry, but uh, the meaning of the movie was so empowering, like, like as a black person especially, from a country that was colonized, it's like amazing, 
and you understand why they didn't help but you also like why didn't you help it made Michael B. Jordan's character so relatable in that sense if you understand what I'm saying oh the score like Kendrick's music was amazing sometimes you know what I'm saying but I was content with just the score the African beats the you know you know people who watch the movie know what I'm talking about ah it was just an amazing movie. I had to do my research on each one of these people because they did a phenomenal job. Like who they are, what they've previously done so I can watch it more or listen to it more, you know what I'm saying? He yeah, some of my problems though, not enough action. Like the trailer is so misleading. Like I'm playing the trailer right now because I can't just be looking at the camera the whole time. I got to give you something, you know. My laptop's not strong enough for the software as I want, but I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. Not enough action. They should have stepped up the action game because the trailer is so much action. Like they, it was a shot after shot after shot after shot. Like also visually, like his suit was amazing, but I prefer the Civil War one sometimes because it didn't look real. Because sometimes it did. Like when he was rocking up, and Michael B was just like, "What's up?" Ah, oh, just like King Manga so much. Sometimes the suit looked amazing, sometimes it just looked like that's not really a person. Or like maybe it's motion capture, they didn't make him wear anything, it's just, it wasn't satisfying enough, you know what I'm saying? Especially because I like the practical aspects of it, like when the suit looked real, it looked real, you know what I'm saying? Some, some characters did not need to die. Claw, I understand he died for the plot point, but nah, man. I liked him too much. Like, I liked him in Age of Ultron, and he had such a little like scene, and I loved him so much in this movie. Who else? Killmonger. I felt like he could have utilized him so much in the upcoming scene. He could have been a Loki in terms of them turning him around in a sense, not like being Loki's character. Cause I like Loki as a character, as a villain, questionable. Cause is he 